Well, things are moving along pretty good with the Wheel Horse GT14 restoration. As you can see, we have quite a bit of it together. And we got all the fenders on and the belt guard, the engines mounted, and the nose, which I still have to put the gas tank strap in, so that'll be coming off again. Heads on the engine. I got the fuel pump that I just painted for the engine, and I gotta start rebuilding a carburetor to put on here, because I didn't have one on here in the first place. So get that all set. Gotta get the starter on it also. So it's shaping up pretty good. It looks pretty nice with all the new hardware on it. We're not painting over that. The wheels will get done once it's together and we gotta end up tubing this one because it leaks so we're just gonna tube both of them. And we still have to get the brackets for the rear fenders. We got a piece of flat stock that just goes here with a couple of holes so we can bolt these together and they gotta move in and those will be all set. And then we gotta make a bracket for underneath here because the three-point hitch was removed before we got this and the bracket from the three-point hitch mounts from here to these bars and that holds everything from moving downwards when you sit on it. So we got to rig up a bracket with some square tubing from over on the rack. That'll be all set. And we got the seat, uh, <coughs> the seat brackets on. Both of those. And I got this seat pan all painted, which came out black. And it actually came out very nice. So that'll look pretty good with the cushions on it and everything. And the dash is somewhat together. We got to wire it before I can put the dash on and before I could put the steering column and everything, or the steering wheel on, because then I can't put the dash panel on, or the uh, cables with the throttle and choke and stuff. And here is the amp meter, which I was gonna paint it black, but it cleaned up very nice once I scraped all the paint off of it, so I just cleared it, over, cleared it, and that'll look pretty nice once it's mounted in there. And the cigarette lighter cleaned up <clears throat> pretty good. And that'll look nice and shiny when it's in the dash. So that came out nice. So we still have to do the wiring like I said. Got that all out over here. I got the throttle and choke cables. Those are all cleaned up and ready to go. I just finished doing all the sheet metal. You can see I got the side pieces here. I got the head shroud right there. And I got to finish painting that. And the main shroud for the engine. We had to buy another one off eBay because the original one you could see it had a whole mess of holes in it and it got worse as I kept wire wheeling it so I figured we were gone this far on the tractor we might as well get another one so this one's got a couple of little pinholes you know right in here but it's not near as bad as that so it'll just keep the water from building up but that was a nice smooth one so I got that and we also got the electric clutch here which we had to get working again so we pulled this entirely apart and there's a big coil of windings underneath here, which is pretty much your electromagnet. And these wires are all corroded on the ends of those, so I cleaned them up and re-soldered them on, put it back together. And it works pretty good. So you rig it up to the battery charger and it pulls that right over and engages really nice. So that's all set to go on. Got the bracket for it there. And that'll be going on. And also got the fuel pump right there I just finished painting that up it's a newer one it's the plastic style but it's still good it has a good lot of suction left into it so that'll be getting mounted up those are the brackets for the fender and then just other small parts for the engine throttle and governor linkages and stuff and here's the carburetor that's gonna be going on it it's kinda rugged looking but the paint has to be cleaned off of it but the inside of it you can see is in pretty nice shape it's not rotted out or anything like that. So that'll be getting cleaned up and put on. I got some parts in the drawer for it and some other stuff. So that'll be all set. So that's another update on the restoration. Hopefully soon, by the time the next video rolls around, the wiring will be in and maybe we'll even have a startup video, which is nice. And hopefully this will run all set. So anyways, there you have it. That's part three of the Wheel Horse Restoration.